Hey everybody, Weem here from Epic Inventor. Thought I would quickly show you, or as quickly as possible, show you how power works in the game. So as you know, or you may know, may have read on the forums, in Epic Inventor some of the placeables, some of the structures you put down in your world require power. And so we have a couple different kinds of power sources. Uh, only one we have we revealed so far, and that was the steam engine. So in the game you will put down these power sources like a steam engine and they will power placeables that require power. And not all placeables require power but a number of them will. So one of the first things we need to do is we need to jump into our inventory and I've got four steam engines here. I'm just going to put a couple into the quick slots here. And f for this demo we're going to use power or rather we're going to power a campfire. Uh, normally a uh, fire would not require power. In fact, these may not even be in the game in the end, but uh, for now we have them using power. In fact, down here we've got a little indicator. This kind of sh will show how much power is required in this town and how much we're generating. So one of the first things we'll do is uh, we can scroll through these. We'll go ahead and select a uh, steam engine and we'll left click out in the world and you can see we can place this here wherever we want within the town limit um, and resources do not obstruct any uh, placeables so we'll go ahead and set this down here the first thing you'll notice we have a timer indicating when this will be completed and you don't have to do anything it will completely build on its own you can run off fight build other things doesn't matter you put a placeable down and you can walk away so now you can see we're generating 10 power for the town and requiring none. The campfire, in for this test anyway, requires 15 power, which is not enough. And uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like. We've got our timer counting down to places. You'll see it animate, and then you'll see an icon indicating there's not enough power for it. So it freezes up and it goes to the icon. Down here you can see we need 15, but we only have 10 power. So I'm going to throw another steam engine down. Uh, let's see, we'll place this here. And you can see it go red right here. Uh, with our placeables, you'll be able to tell where you can and can't place them if there's something in the way. So we'll go, go ahead and place it right next to it here. Timer counts down. Since this puts out 10, we will have a total of 20. So it's down. We have 20 power, only need 15, so the fire gets powered. Uh, like other games, uh, for example, in SimCity, um, we will let you put down another item. And if we run out of power, in this case, we're going to go over the limit. We don't just kill the power on the item, the, the placeable that's been put down, but all placeables that require power will stop and cease to function. Let's see, we're requiring 30. So in the game, you may pick some of these up. Um, you may put down another power source. It kind of depends on your strategy. Um, aside from a time limit, there is no cost to picking up a placeable, so you can move things about pretty easily. But uh, I think that's it. I think we'll leave the demo at that, and hopefully that uh, helps you understand how power works in Epic Inventor.